Hi, everybody. I'm Laura B. And tonight I'm going to make some Greek style meatballs, also called keftides. And on the side, we're going to do a traditional Greek style salad with just cucumber, tomato, and onion, little olives, and some feta. And we're going to do a tzatziki, which is a Greek yogurt sauce with shredded cucumber. We're going to start with all of our vegetables. First up, tomatoes. Next up, cucumbers. And I'm using just your standard box grater to break the cucumber. And we want to get as much moisture out of it as possible. So I'm going to put some cheesecloth in the bowl. If you don't have a box grater, you can just chop it really, really finely with your knife. So in the cheesecloth, give it a squeeze. And there we go, we've got a ball of cucumber, nice and dry. Save that for our tzatziki. Next up, we've got our onion. Now, once again, we're going to use half of this for the salad and the other half for the meatballs. Adding that in with our cucumber and tomato. Now, for the other half, because this is going in a ground meat mixture, I want to get it as fine as possible. So, I'm bringing back the box grater. And I'm going to grate this onion and put it in our bowl where the ground meat's going to go. Into the bowl, I'll grab a couple cloves worth. So for the meatballs, um, you can use any ground meat you like. I found some nice organic grass-fed beef on sale. So I picked up two pounds of it, and that's what I'm going to use today. All right, so we're gonna season it very well. Plenty of salt. Got fresh black pepper. Gonna use some dried mint. We're shooting for about a teaspoon here. And you want a teaspoon of oregano. I'm gonna add a third of a cup of breadcrumbs, quote unquote, air quotes here because uh, I have celiac disease, I can't eat gluten. And although, yes, they do make gluten-free breadcrumbs nowadays, I have this leftover toasted rice powder that I made by toasting white rice in a dry pan, letting it cool, and then using a, a coffee grinder, spice grinder, to grind it up into a powder. So that's my breadcrumb substitute. Gonna add one egg as well to bind it. And now we're ready to mix. And if you're wondering, did I add enough seasoning? You can always add more. Now I'm gonna ball them up. I want them to be a little bit smaller than a golf ball. That's right about golf ball size. See? And they don't have to be perfectly round. If you're gonna eat them in a pita or on a sandwich, it might even be easier to flatten them slightly. Now I'm just putting these straight on to a baking sheet. I've got about it, an inch worth of space between them. And check it out, I've got a full tray right here and I've got nearly a full tray over here. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven. As I mentioned, the oven's at 425 degrees. And we're going to cook them for 25 minutes, see how they're doing. All right, so 25 minutes is on the clock. We can finish dressing up our salad. We can finish preparing the tzatziki. So let's go. In our salad bowl, I've already got the onions, cucumbers, and tomatoes. To this, we are going to add some Kalamata olives. It's all right to get a little bit of the liquid in there. It'll be 
food part of the dressing. For the dressing, we're going to use a combination of olive oil, lemon juice, and a little bit of red wine vinegar. So I just put a nice good three tablespoons or so of olive oil, add about a tablespoon each of the vinegar and lemon juice. Salt, of course. I have some dried cilantro. So I told you if I had fresh, I would use it. I don't, so I'm going to sprinkle in some dried cilantro to help give this a nice herby taste. Let's mix it up. All right, let's give it a little taste. I want some of everything here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. In the bowl that has our shredded cucumber, let's break that up a little bit. I'm going to add a cup of plain Greek yogurt. To it, salt and pepper, like always. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And here's where our garlic powder and onion powder get involved. So just a gentle shake each of onion and garlic powder. And I have some dried dough. Let's shake that into my palm. Mixing it all up. Add some of our lemon juice. All right, you should always Taste your food to make sure it is to your liking. So here we go. It needs a little bit more. So don't be afraid of flavor, folks. Some more onion powder. Some more garlic powder. Definitely more dill. Taste. I like that. Go ahead, take a look. In about 15, 16 minutes or so, our meatballs will be ready. You can serve it with a side of rice. You can serve it in pita, however you want. All right, guys, it only took 20 minutes for the meatballs to be done. They're sizzling, they smell so good. Let's dish up. I'm so excited. I'm gonna grab a few meatballs here. Yum. Next up, our nice, delicious tzatziki sauce. Yes, yum, 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 yum. And now our, our salad. We're not quite done. One last little thing to really kick it off. Feta cheese. It's so good. And here it is, guys. This is our Greek meatball meal with a traditional Greek salad and tzatziki. Time to taste. Hot fresh meatball, a little bit of tzatziki on there. It's hot. Mm. It's really good. I'm happy with it. I hope you're happy with it. Let's get some salad now. Onion, tomato, olives, cucumber, get on there. Feta, perfect little bite. It's exactly what I was craving. It was a great meal. I don't even miss the pita. Don't even miss it. But I hope you love the recipe. If you give it a try, let me know what you think. And if you've made any variations, I'd love to hear what you've done. So until next time, take care. Thank you and good night.